What's up, buds? It's Fly High FPV, and I would like to show you the Hoda F6 Plus. This is the new four way charger from Hoda that has a built in AC power supply. This is the new king of chargers. If you're looking for something to charge all the packs and you don't want to deal with parallel boards that might damage your whole fleet of batteries, this is what I recommend. Uh, I still carry this. This is my charger, the F6. This is the old version. It is basically the exact same charger, but it is DC only. There's no AC power supply in the bottom of this, so this cannot plug directly into the wall. You need to get the either the Hoda T240 power supply to charge it, or um, something like the Stay High battery pack. This is what I use in the field every day. It allows me to just plug in and charge an extra 15 batteries while I'm out and about, um, but no power supply built in. You'll need to bring your own supply. Um, now, this guy has the power supply built in. So you can plug it directly into the wall right there or using this adapter, and I've got these on the store. This is an XT90 to XT60 adapter. Then you can plug this guy right in and run it the same way the F6 would. But Primarily, it's made to run right off of the wall. We can plug that guy in and get all the juice. Uh, so this is a full-featured, full-power charger. Um, it will support 4 times 15 amps on DC power. That is a thousand watts. It is a lot of juice. Uh, that's 15 amps on each lane. So theoretically, if you wanted to use parallel boards, you could be charging like 20 something packs all at once. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of parallel boards. I'm always gonna balance every single battery, which is why I like four-way chargers because I can plug them all in and get them going. Um, another great feature that they added to this is continuous charging mode. So if I plug some batteries in, here, let me start with this one first. I plug some batteries in and start charging. I'm going to go in and hit OK. And we want to change it to 1 amp. This is a 1.1, so 1.1 amps and start the task. And it won't take it very long because this is already a full battery. But as soon as it finishes, I can just plug the next battery into the same lane and it'll keep going. Uh, same settings, everything will just keep going, allowing you to you know, charge four batteries and then plug in four more and plug in four more and plug in four more and just get all the packs charging really, really quickly. Um, so I'll get another one going right here. And right there, and we'll go down to the next channel, start that one up too. Nice and quick and easy to get all the batteries charging. Uh, really, really big fan of this. This is the same layout and interface as the F6. So this is what I'm used to. Um, but they did get rid of this wheel and replace it with a four button interface, which is definitely an improvement. Uh, just allows you to be more accurate with your button pressing and less scrolling back and forth and missing the the, the mark, or so to speak, where I was trying to uh, get going. Grab a couple more packs and we'll get all my stuff charged up. So I'll be ready to fly tomorrow. And we'll make this video at the same time. Get that one plugged in. Uh, this will do any uh, voltage up to 6S. Um, also, let me just stop this one. I'll show you some of the other options. In addition to LiPos, this is also going to charge high volt, uh, Lions, lithium ferrous batteries, um, lead acid if you want to charge like car batteries and stuff like that, NICAD, NIM, and uh, one of my favorite is to actually set it up and use it as the uh, smart battery or power delivery mode uh, so that you can actually just deliver power out of this and use it as a power supply. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see, this battery is almost finished. 
You can also hit here, and this is going to give you a little bit more detail about each battery. Um, you can scroll through and you can see the internal resistance test. It does take a minute for it to pop up and show you the internal resistance test. If we go to the next battery, this one's probably already got it. It had to charge quite a bit more so you can see the health of your batteries at quick glance. And I find the Hoda chargers to be really, really, really accurate when it comes to internal resistance. So my older four button chargers would show all new batteries at like one, 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 one. And you know it's not actually a, that low of a resistance, but this one is far, far, far more accurate. Um, typically what I'm seeing on this is new batteries are right around uh, less than 10, I would say. Uh, a used battery is probably in the 20s, and uh, around 30 or 40 is probably retirement age on this charger. Uh, again, every different brand of charger is a little different, but on my F6 and on this F6 Plus and the Hoda D6 Pro, which is basically a two-channel version of this, um, it is all very, very, very similar. Uh, let's start that one up too. Get all the batteries charged up. Ah, and so it just beeped to tell me that this battery is done. So we can just pull the plug and remove this battery. And then I can take the next battery. Again, I'm just charging a big pile of 6S LiPos. I can plug it in, put it in right there. And will it pop? I haven't changed the settings yet. It might not be on by default. It's not. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stop it all. You just long press here to stop all. And um, let me get out of the channel menu. Once you've got everything stopped, you can long press to get the menu open. And here's where you're going to change your parameters. Uh, one thing I like to do is go into system parameters and um, right here, the minimum input voltage. It's not going to really apply since we're using the um the cord right now for ac power but super helpful if you're using a battery like this this has got a minimum voltage of 16 volts so what i would do is i would go right here and i would change this to 16. and now when i'm charging from a battery like this it'll drain down and when it gets to 16 volts it'll stop charging the other batteries and tell you it's not going to cut power off it'll keep on so that you can still see the status and tell what's going on. Uh, on my chargers, the other thing I like to do is I like to turn the volume off. I don't want to hear all those beeps. I like it nice and quiet. Um, it will repeat beeps if you want. You can name your charger. Um, night mode, continuous mode, that's what we want. Make sure you turn that on. Uh, do beware if you're charging a lot of different types of packs, you might not want that. But me, I've got 20 of these 6S batteries that I fly on my 5-inch quads, and I'm just always charging them over and over and over again. So I want them to be uh, at the ready. Let me plug this full battery back in. And... We'll get over and start all the chargers again. And you see how quick this is. I've actually been talking to them lately. Um, Hoda has been super responsive to the community. Uh, I love that they added the continuous charging mode. Uh, I had owned this charger for almost a year when they came out with it and they gave us a firmware update that allowed us to upgrade to continuous charging mode which is one of my favorite features. So I'm super stoked to see that it's on this right out of the box. I don't have to do any firmware updates or anything. Uh, that makes my life easy. Uh, also worth noting that there are a lot of USB ports on this. Uh, this is a charging 5 volt 2.1 amp port. Uh, these two USB ports are actually uh, just for firmware updating. There's basically two chargers in here and one is for the left side and one is for the right side. And then this is a servo test port. Uh, I don't know that I need this. I actually have a little servo tester that I rarely use, uh, but it is there if you need that sort of thing. Um, on the sides though, you just have the plugs for the, the two chargers on either side. And on the back, you've got just your XD90 
and the regular, um, what is that power supply called? It's not a Molex cord. Uh, the regular power cord, three prong power cord. Uh, but this one's done again. So we're gonna unplug it and I'll show you how continuous charging mode works. Cause after I take this battery out, I plug this one in, it goes in and beep. It's not gonna beep cause I turned the sounds off, but it just automatically picked up and started charging again so that you can just rapidly change and charge all these batteries do a whole round, come back an hour later, do a whole nother round. It really, really, really makes my life easy. And I also love that this one's got the built-in AC power supply. Uh, it does have a fan inside, but you've not heard it char spin up. Even charging four batteries at uh, you know 1.1 amps each, uh, it hasn't needed to kick on. It is temperature regulated, so it'll kick on as needed. Um, but that's it, man. Uh, what else do you want to know about the F6? Uh, really, um, you got to make a choice. You want just the F6, no AC. This is still my favorite because I can put this in the backpack with the battery. I can use this right off the truck. Um, and at home, I use a big server power supply that'll run multiple chargers. So this is still my favorite. It's only $109. Um, you can get a uh, Hoda power supply to go with this. They have the T240 240 watt supply and that will allow you to charge about two and a half amps on each of the four uh, lanes. Um, this bad boy has got a 500 watt AC power supply in it. So this one will actually uh, give you almost twice or about twice as much amperage available uh, allowing you to go up to about five amps per lane on AC. And then uh, if you want to go all the way to 15 amps, you're going to need DC power for something like that. Uh, this thing will deliver 30 amps continuously. So you could do two lanes at 15 on something like that. Or um, my big server power supply over there will do similarly. It's like uh, 29 amps continuously. So if you need 15 by four, you're going to need a ridiculously large power supply in order to push that as well. Uh, but pretty darn good just off of the internal for most charging that's going to be sufficient uh, 500 watts is going to give you about 20 amps continuous that you can deliver to all four lanes however you want to divide it um, these are actually on sale at my site right now flyhighfpv.com just use the code flyday through the end of december and you can get a couple bucks off of each of these um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions um, do you have you used this charger? It's pretty new. I, I think I was one of the first stores in the U.S. to get it, and I've yet to see any reviews. So I just wanted to show you guys what it's about and uh, ask you guys what you think. This is mine. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna pull one of these out. Oh, you're complaining. I know I'm not supposed to yank the cables in the middle of a cycle, but one thing that's pretty cool you can see over here. That's how many charges I've done on this charger. That's 1140 charges. <laughs> I love this thing. It's such a beast. Such a beast. Uh, but yeah, come and get them. Flyhighfpv.com.